At the Seacoast Science Center, there's one creature local to the area with some interesting facts. The lumpfish can be found um, in the Gulf of Maine, uh, down to about uh, Chesapeake Bay or even New Jersey, and um, they also occur in the Northern Atlantic, uh, kind of on the, uh, the European side also. Uh, the lumpfish prefer a little bit colder water, uh, so that's why in this tank here where we have them, um, uh, we keep the water temperature um, like in the low 50s, but they can take even colder than that. They have a fat storage kind of in their stomachs there. Um, a lot of the fat storage is actually kind of in this white area in the stomach. And that's probably related to the cold water temperatures that they can take. And then this is also where uh, the suction cup or the, um, the modified uh, pelvic fin is located. Kind of down right, right there, you can kind of see it. Right between his um, uh, pectoral fins there. And basically it's a modified fin um, that they use that they use and they can actually kind of manipulate it to create a suction um, and they can stick to, at least in this tank, to the glass or to pilings, but a lot of times in the wild they stick to pieces of seaweed or dock pilings, uh, stuff like that. They can stick very well. Sometimes, especially the little lumpfish that we sometimes collect, we have a hard time releasing them. The lumpfish can be uh, several different colors. They can be uh, red, um, it's usually when the males are in their mating kind of pattern. Uh, so they can be red, they can be yellow, uh, greenish, gray, uh, a bunch of different colors. The males are a little bit smaller than the females. The females usually run about 16 to 18 inches or so, and the males are about 14, um, around 14 inches. Females being a little bit larger, they weigh, they can weigh up to about 11 pounds. So they do migrate, um, most of the time they're found um, offshore in the pelagic zone, which uh, the pelagic zone is kind of the area um, offshore in deeper water. And when they uh, migrate in for mating, they uh, come into uh, shallower waters. And that's usually uh, the time of mating, you know, February to early May. The female uh, usually lays about uh, from 15,000 to over 100,000 eggs at a time. Um, and the male, uh, usually what happens is the male will come to shore uh, a little bit sooner than the female, and the male will create a nest uh, for the female to deposit the eggs in. And once that has happened, the male will guard the eggs um, uh, from predators and will also aerate the eggs uh, using a fanning motion with the uh, is either pectoral fins or is a caudal fin, um, or either, even breathing on the eggs too. The eggs will hatch um, in approximately about a month to a month and a half or so. Come and visit soon to learn more facts about the lumpfish and other creatures here at the Seacoast Science Center.